Conflux is the legendary ring we can get from World This Is World. And in this video, we will craft a ring together and we will learn all the details and requirements for each step. And at the end, I will show you the visual effects we will get when we equip the ring. I will leave a list below in the description with all the materials you will need to craft Conflux from scratch. This way you know exactly what you will need before you even start. The first thing we will do is buy all the components we need from World This Is World and almost all of them will be from this vendor, Legendary Commander War Razor. You can find it in any of the borderland including Obsidian Sanctum. When we talk to the vendor, go to the second tab that says Mist Essence and we will want to buy all the items in here. And all of the currencies we need to buy those items will be stuff we get as we do World This Is World normally. So the first one is Essence of Strategy and this will cost 1000 badges of honor. And then Essence of Animosity can be bought using one of two currencies. Don't buy two of them, you only need one of them. You can either buy it using Proof of Heroics or you can buy it using Testimony of Desert Heroics. So just buy the one that you have enough currency for. When you go to your wallet and then sort by competitive currencies, you will find those items I'm referring to. So you can see exactly how many Proof of Heroics do you have and Testimonies of Desert Heroics and also the third currency, Testimonies of Jade Heroics. You will get each one of those items based on when have you been playing World vs. World and which expansion do you have. For example, as of right now, if you have the End of Dragons expansion, whenever you do World This Is World, you will get this currency, Testimonies of Jade Heroics. So if you didn't have enough to buy this item using either of those two currencies, we can do some exchange. And we can do the exchange from this Heroics Notary vendor, which can also be found in any of the Borderlands, including Obsidian Sanctum. From here, in the first tab, you can buy the Proof of Heroics or Testimonies of Desert Heroics using the currency Testimony of Jade Heroics. I know the namings can be a little confusing, but just know that if you are short on the currencies, talk to this vendor, go to the first tab, and you should be able to buy the currencies you need. Next, we will talk to the Legendary Commander vendor again, and this time we will go to the fourth tab that says Legendary Components. And again, we will buy all the items here, except this first one. We will not need Legendary War inside. This is for Legendary Armor, and I have a previous guide for it if you want to check it. I will leave the link on your screen now and also in the description below. And all of those items here are things we can get normally in World This Is World and Spirit Shards is a currency that you can get from multiple sources and I also have another guide for it. The link will also be in the description. Certificate of Honor will cost 500 badges of honor and then Certificate of Heroics just like the previous item you can buy with Proof of Heroics or Testimonies of Desert Heroics. And we explained how to exchange those currencies from the Heroics Notary Vendor earlier. Glob of Condensed Spirit Spirit energy will cost 100 spirit shards and then those two items will cost the same thing. Each one will require 750 World This Is World skirmish tickets and 250 memories of battle. So now we will buy all of those items together. The next thing we will need is Legendary Spike, Emblem of the Conqueror, and 5 Gifts of Battle. Legendary Spike is something you will get randomly when you kill NPCs and players in World This Is World. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a very high drop rate, so you may need a little bit of time to get it. Emblem of the Conqueror is an item you get when you finish an achievement called Emblem of the Conqueror, and you can find it in the competitive section under World This Is World. This achievement will require you to capture 100 objectives in total. And those can be any objectives in World This Is World that you can capture and not a specific one. This number may seem big, but you will probably get it faster than you expect as you do World This Is World on a regular basis. As for the Gift of Battle, you can only get it from the Gift of Battle reward track, which is one in World This Is World only. You cannot get it in any other mode, and so you will need to complete this reward track at least 5 times to get a total of 5 Gifts of Battle. I have another guide that shows how to significantly increase your reward track progress. You will find the link for it in the description. 
The next thing we will do is talk to any Mystic Forge NPC and then we will go to the second tab that says Mystic Recipes and we will scroll all the way down until we see those exotic recipes. We will need all 8 of them and each one will cost 10 gold so that will be a flat out cost of 80 gold. However, make sure that you have not unlocked them before because you need to only buy them once and after you unlock them they are now unlocked in your account forever and you don't need to buy them again. For example, on the screen now, you can see in this recipe, it says in red, you already know this recipe, so I don't need to buy it again. So just before you waste any kind of gold, make sure you don't already own those recipes. You can craft all of those recipes if you have at least level 400, a weaponsmith or an artificer or a huntsman. When you open any of the stations, just type a gift in the search bar and it should bring up all the gifts we need here. Just be very careful which ones you will craft and double check the name. And we will avoid any legendary gift as we don't need those and it will just be a very big waste of gold and materials. For each one of those gifts, we will need two of them. And for all of them, they will cost pretty much the same thing. 100 of the tier 6 material, 250 of the tier 5, and then 50 of the tier 4 and the tier 3 material. So we will craft each one of them together right now. We will also need to craft another item called Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy. This is something we can craft with pretty much any crafting station except a cook and a scribe. It will require one ball of dark energy and 75 stabilizing matrix. Ball of dark energy is something we get when we salvage any ascended equipment. You have a low chance of getting them when you salvage ascended trinkets like amulets, rings, accessories and back piece, but you have a pretty much guaranteed chance or a very high one when you salvage ascended weapons or ascended armor. And stabilizing matrix is something we can get when we do fractals or you can just buy it from the trading post if you want. We will only need one of them to just craft one. We will also need to craft two vision crystals. And just like the cube, this is something you can craft from any of the stations except the cook and the scribe. For each vision crystal, you will need five dragonite ingots, five imperial stars, five bloodstone bricks, and one ogre's stone. The dragonite ingots will require 100 dragonite ore, two obsidian shards, and 10 thermocatalytic reagent. Imperial star will be the same thing, except you will need 100 imperial fragments, and the bloodstone bricks will need the same thing, except 100 piles of bloodstone dust. Ogre's Stone is an item you can buy from any of the Mystic Forge NPCs for 20 spirit shards. The next thing we will do is buy the Mist Band Ascended Ring, which is our precursor. We can do that from Waldus's Wall by talking to any of the skirmish supervisors in any of the borderlands. And then we will go to the tab that says Ascended Trinkets and you will find it in here. And it will cost 350 skirmish tickets and 250 memories of battle. We can also buy the same Ascended Ring from an Ascended Armor League vendor. And then we will go to the second tab that says Ascended Trinkets. And this will cost 200 Ascended Shards of Glory and 170 Shards of Glory. You can find this Ascended league vendor right beside the market waypoint in the pvp map and the last source is from fractals from the vendor called buy 2046 and then go to a second tab ascended gear and you will find it here and it will cost 100 pristine fractal relics and two integrated fractal matrix integrated fractal matrix is an item you will also buy inside fractals from this vendor called blink 9009 and it will cost 10 stabilizing matrix and 15 fractal relics for each one. Next we will talk to any Mystic Forge NPC and we will go to the first tab and we will look for Gift of Glory and Gift of War. They will cost 250 Shards of Glory and 250 Memories of Battle. And we will need 100 Icy Rune Stones. We can buy them from this vendor called Rohan the Penitent. And you can find this vendor in the Frost Gorge Sound Map. And then go to the Earthshake Waypoint and you will find it a little bit northwest of here. If you have done the Claw of Jormag meta, it will be very close 
to this location. Also keep in mind that if the Claw of Jormag event is happening, this vendor will not be available and you cannot buy the icy runestones. And the same thing will happen if the meta was up and failed, this NPC will also not be available. So if you came here and you found this vendor not able to sell your stuff because the meta failed, just try to find another instance that did the meta successfully. Each icy rune stone will cost 1 gold. So if you want to buy 100, this will cost 100 gold. And this will be a flat out cost, you cannot buy it from any other source. From now on, for all the other steps, we will need a mystic forge. And to avoid going back and forth to our bank, let's go ahead and prepare all our materials and have it in our inventory. On top of that, we will need 250 piles of bloodstone dust, dragonite ore, and imperial fragments. And then we will need 10 globs of dark matter which is an item we get when we salvage exotic gear that is level 68 or higher. We also will need 77 mystic clovers, 250 mystic coins, and an extra 250 memories of battle. We will also need 20 of the tier 6 blood and 50 of the tier 5 blood. And then the same thing for scales, and bones and clothes. Once we have all of those in our inventory, along with our ascended precursor ring, we will go to the Mystic Forge. And as I mentioned earlier, in the description below, you will find a list of the total amount of materials you will need for every step to craft conflicts from scratch. Now we will start putting items together in the Mystic Forge. We will start with Essence of Strategy, with 20 vials of powerful blood, 50 vials of potent blood, and 250 piles of bloodstone dust. And this will give us is a mystic essence of strategy. Next, we put essence of animosity with 20 ancient bones, 50 large bones, and 250 imperial fragments. And this will give us mystic essence of animosity. And then essence of carnage with 20 armored skill, 50 large skills, and 250 dragonite ore. And this will give us the Mystic Essence of Carnage. And then Essence of Annihilation, with 20 Vicious Clothes, 50 Large Clothes, and 10 Globs of Dark Matter. And this will give us the Mystic Essence of Annihilation. Next, we will combine the 4 items that we just made. So Mystic Essence of Strategy, with Essence of Animosity, Essence of Carnage, and Essence of Annihilation. And this will give us a Gift of Warfare. Now we will put the Gift of Warfare with the Emblem of the Conqueror and the Mist Enhanced Mithril and the Mist Pearl. And this will give us War Commendation. And then we put Gift of War with Gift of Glory with the Cube of Stabilized Dark Energy and one of the Gift of Battles. And you will notice I clicked on all the five together, but it knows the recipes will require only one, so it will take only one, it will not consume the others. And as you can see, it only consumed one and I still have four remaining. This will give us Gift of the Mists. And then we put a Certificate of Honor with Certificate of Heroics and Glob of Condensed Spirit Energy with 250 Memories of Battle. And this will give us Gift of War Dedication. Now we will combine the three items we just made. Gift of War Dedication, Gift of the Mists, War Commendation with 100 IC Rune Stones. And this will give us Gift of the World. And then we put two Gifts of Blood, with two Gifts of Venom, Gifts of Totem, and Gifts of Dust. And this will give us Gift of Condensed Magic. And we will need to do it again, because we will need two Gifts of Condensed Magic. And we will do the same thing with other Gifts. Gifts of Bones, with Claws, with Fangs, and Scales, and then Forge. And we can also just do refill and it will put the same four items together. And this will give us the second gift of condensed might that we need. Because we need two gifts of condensed magic and two gifts of condensed might. Now we will put together the gifts of condensed magic with gifts of condensed might with the 250 mystic coins and 77 mystic clovers. And this will give us a mystic tribute. And then we put the Vision Crystals with the 250 memories of battle, with the Legendary Spike and the 4 Gifts of Battle. And this will give us a Gift of Conquering. If you pay attention to the screen, before we use our Precursor, you will notice that the Ascended Ring is attuned, 
and you will also notice that we already selected stats on it. And so you can do that and you can still use it as a precursor and it will work just fine. Just be careful, if it had any infusions in it, make sure you extract them first before you upgrade them into a legendary ring, otherwise you will lose those infusions. So now for the last step, we will use our ascended ring as a precursor with the gift of the world and gift of conquering and mystic tribute. And this will give us Conflux, which is the legendary ring. And now you have it in your armory and you can use it on all of your characters. So if I click on show PVE equipment, I can now see it as a part of the legendary armory. Now that we have it in our armory, as we mentioned, we can use it in any of our characters. But keep in mind that because we crafted only one ring, we can only use it once on one of the slots. You cannot use one Conflux to occupy both ring slots. If you want to do that, you will need to craft another Conflux. And this is what I will do off screen right now. And then we will equip two Conflux together and you will see that we can use both of them. And this is the effect that the Conflux ring will provide. You will have this floating orb around your character all the time. And if you pay attention to the details, you will notice those are a bunch of charts marching towards the Stolmus Castle objective in Vodus's world. Also, I have Aurora and Vision, so I will show you what it will look like with Aurora on its own or Vision on its own, and then what it will look like with them combined. I now crafted the second Conflux ring, and when we open the armory, you will notice that we have two rings, not one. So now, I can use a Conflux in each slot. And as you can see, we have Conflux in each one of them. And in order to do so, you must craft Conflux twice. And when you activate the effects from both of them, it will be the same thing. One glob with some charge marching towards the Stolmus Castle in Voldus's world. And this will be the exact same thing if we just have one Conflux equipped. So having two Conflux rings equipped doesn't really change anything in the visual effect for the ring. If you found this guide helpful, a like will be appreciated. And I will leave a playlist on your screen now that will include my other guides for all the legendary stuff, including ones that shows you how to reduce the cost significantly whenever you are crafting any piece of legendary gear. I will leave the playlist for that on your screen and in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next guide.